Hello, today I'm on Plasma. Yesterday I tried to do these six things only using the keyboard on GNOME. It went pretty well, it took like five minutes. Now I'll try to do the same thing but on KD Plasma. And hopefully the fact that I know KD Plasma a bit better than GNOME means that it will be even easier, but well, we'll see. <laughs> let's see. So let's just open Dolphin as an example and that was the first one, pretty easy. We need to close it, but that should be Control W and that's super easy. Okay, the second one is hopefully just as easy. We can, gotta say though, I, I like GNOME and everything, but switching between apps uh, using the keyboard is much, much easier in KD Plasma. As you've seen like yesterday, in yesterday's video on GNOME, I just couldn't focus the application grid in KD Plasma, I can do this, and then with the right arrow, I can switch between these. Much, much easier. So let's add Anki, and hopefully the shortcut was like sh and Shift FN10 for the context menu, and of course uh, that doesn't work, which might mean that the context menu shortcut is different, but also maybe that it's not implemented in Plasma. That's not good because I don't know how what about this one? Oh, it worked, it worked. So my my keyboard does actually have a context menu button. If I press FN and uh, right control, there is this button that actually opens up a context menu, so that worked. And then I just go with pin to task manager and that's it, done. That was not what. Then connect to Wi-Fi. Again, in theory, we should be able to focus uh, the panel and the, uh, Wi-Fi, and by the way, as you've seen in KD News video from uh, Monday, Tuesday, there's actually a way to do it, but uh, I won't, uh, it's not yet implemented in my system. I don't have that merge request yet. Still, it will be possible to do it in the future, but for now, since uh, I don't know of any shortcut that actually opens the, I don't know, maybe the system tree, I'll just do settings as I've done for GNOME as well and we can search for Wi-Fi. This is the Wi-Fi, yes. And then, um, yes, this isn't exactly how I hoped the Wi-Fi thing would go. And uh, we go and select, uh, okay, thank you. This is very interesting. Can I actually select something on the Wi-Fi list? Apparently not. Uh, let's try to search for password. And how do I actually select the first result? Oh, come on. Okay, this is not good. This is actually harder than a third. It's, this is a uh, thing, uh, okay, so we're actually focusing the buttons on the bottom. Yeah, that's not interesting, thank you. Cancel. Um, plus, minus, settings, search bar, plus, minus. How do I actually connect though? I, I have to use the applet, like there's no way to connect from here unless I click on some button that I don't see. Uh, yeah, I think I have to use the applet, uh, unless I don't know, Wi-Fi, 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 nope. It's connections and, uh, well, it's this one. But how do I actually open the applet without the merge request? Because after the merge request, it would be easy but I don't have it yet, so it's not. Okay, I kind of have a plan. So let's actually try to open up the shortcuts KCM, which is this one, and search for something that might help us. So I don't know why, what, okay, thank you. Wi-Fi, uh, system tray, nope, panel, nope. Nothing interesting really. What about, I don't know, connection? And I mean, I can't even focus the list Ah, trouble, trouble. So I think I need to give up on this one. I'm not able to do this. Let's try the other one. Move window to another virtual desktop. And as yesterday, this is easy. I know that moving between desktops is meta control. It's meta alt on GNOME, meta control on Kitty Plasma. And to actually move a window, it's meta control shift like this, and it works. Five, activate do not disturb. And hopefully, hopefully it's on the notifications page. Do not disturb mode, um, 
tag goal with there's currently no shortcut uh, associated with do not disturb i guess i can add one uh, do i have to add one is there no other way to actually turn on because i mean i, I should open the pop-up of the notification to actually enable do not disturb but i can't so i need to set um shortcut like i don't know meta control alt e oh and now i need to actually click on apply oh no will i be able to actually click on apply though yes and then meta alt control uh, e and just like this i managed to actually change do not disturb mode so that's done that worked and i lost my here it's here Lastly, let's uh, switch, because it's implicit, switch to thanks and stop OBS. So first of all, we go to OBS, which is here. Hello, OBS. And then there is, again, all of the hell in tabbing. Oh, no, no, I'll tab, um, turn back. Okay, that was much easier for some reason. Yesterday, it was harder. And uh, well, now I will show the animation with all of the thanks here. And then as soon as that one ends, I will get back to the, you know, showing my screen and actually try to stop the recording. But till then, thanks to all of the people who are donating to my channel. And that is a super nice things to do that makes you like a good person, TM, like a Nikolov's approved person. And now that is done. Let's switch back to the green screen. And now it's again tabbing L until I find this one. So thanks for following along. This video is three minutes longer, but unluckily I couldn't do a task. If you are able to connect to Wi-Fi only using keyboard shortcuts, please tell me how, because I just couldn't find it. And props to GNOME that actually put all of the stuff in system settings too even if it's also in the system tray, because yeah, it's a bit easier to actually use it only using keyboard shortcuts. So props to GNOME for that, but also KD Plasma, I think Kickoff really wins in terms of actually, you know, using this thing to select an application. And I managed to, okay, bye-bye.